Hello everyone, my name is Bakten again. I'm an MRI radiographer. Today we are at Oslo University Hospital in Norway. I'm going to show today what kind of equipment we are using for these non-sedated patients we're having here at the hospital. So right behind me here is the room where anesthesia is using for sedating these patients. So usually we are trying to avoid to use this room, right? Because we want to have non-sedated examinations. This room is well designed. It's very friendly for the kids, it's less intimidating. You see there's colorful, animal, very well designed. So let's go to the scanner and I will show you the equipment there. This is a scanner we are having one of four scanners. This is a 3T. So every day we are having three to four sedated patients and almost the same amount for non-sedated. So can you imagine if we don't have the equipment to, to make it through? It would be very difficult to have everyone sedated. There would be no room, There's, there would be no staff, and uh, they would be very costly. So we try to be efficient, try to avoid the sedated one if it's possible. But of course, we also have very complex cases where sedated need to be done. So all our four scanners are designed in the same way. We have respiratory, devices, we have uh, surveillance devices for the anesthesia, all the same. And we are using comfort solution from Nordic Neurolab to provide us entertainment, this kind of uh, helpful tool to be able to do this MRI without any sedation. So behind this scanner right here now, there is our TV. So let me show you the TV. As you can see, the TV is behind the Boris on the stand. It's very helpful because with the wheels, you can move this TV all the way around. And there is no such examination we are having today where we cannot provide the TV. Even though if you are head first, feet first, we are able to give them TV. The thing about the TV, it's, it's very nice to have. The reason for that is you can have a well-designed room with a lot of animals and light and everything, which is nice. Then the patient comes in lying on the table. So the two key factors, one is the being able to lie on the table. The second part is to being able to lie still. So whenever you are taking the patient inside the board, they can very easily lose the focus within the next minutes because the lighting, the animals, the room design, they don't see that anymore. They only see that when before they go into the scanner. So thereby you need to shift the focus away from being inside the scanner to something else. That's where the TV comes in. So from my opinion, I find it's very important that they are shifted away because you're able to run the protocol uh, and you're able to make them like still cooperate uh, while they are watching their favorite movies. Because with the TV, we also have a surface pad where we can control at the outside, where we can provide them Netflix, whatever they want used to. And we know that these days the kids, they are so into the TV the iPad, the iPhones. They are newer days today. So I feel that from my opinion that radio, music alone is not long enough. You need to have something to shift the focus away. With that said, I just want to show you one more thing. Well, this is our second room, 1.5 Tashla out of four. So the room is designed as the same. You have the respiratory, you have the surveillance, but this room is a little bit special because you have the LED lights up in the ceiling, which makes it more comfortable, the atmosphere. And the TV is the same, it's behind the board where you can roll it on the wheel and uh, yeah there's one more thing I want to show you so let's go yet another room this is a 1.5 Tashley is the same as the last one I show you however the equipment is the same here respiratory the, the, the surveillance and everything there is no lead light in the ceiling here but we are having a sky ceiling from a sky factory which is very nice to have many patients reacted to that whenever they're lying down at the scanner they see this and they're feeling very comfortable so we get positive feedbacks regarding that so let's get back to our 3T and I want to show you something else there. There's one important thing I want to mention regarding the Nordic Neural Lab comfort solution. Whenever they are installed, it's more like install, set and forget. The reason why I'm saying this is because we used this for many, many, many years. And it's very robust, very well designed. And this doesn't cost any artifacts. We've done a lot of RF tests, uh, spike tests and all that. And it comes out very good. Nonetheless, there is not much of a downtime regarding that system. And this is exactly what we want. We don't want any downtime. So why am I standing in front of our knee cord? The reason for that, I want to tell you a short story. I've been 
working with Amor for over, over 16 years. And with that experience, I only experienced once, uh, which was a three years old, lying on a scanner, no sedation. And we were scanning a knee for around 10 minutes. He was lying totally still. And you could see that whenever he was on the table, he saw a TV. He was like his focus was sucked into the TV and you could do whatever you want with him. For 10 minutes with the scanning, everything went out great. And there was no sedation involved, which is also great. So you feel like you made something good out of it, which is great. I mean, could solve that case. All right, we have the control room now. I just want to show you a protocol, which is uh, as an example, how fast we can go today. As you can see, this is just a routinely knee protocol. And with this knee protocol, you can see it down in the corner, it takes around five minutes and 37. But with the shimming and everything, I think it's around seven, eight minutes or so. However, you can see how extremely fast we're going. The reason for this is that we are combining everything with the deep result boost, which is the newest innovation from the CMS, which makes these things fast. It's not only fast as a win situation, it also provides better image quality. So it's a totally win-win here. So that means that the patient doesn't need to be scanned for a long time. This is the surface pad I was talking about. It's, it's in the control room. It's easy to reach, easy to control. You got everything here. But another thing I want to show you that's very easy to use, but you also have a camera inside that uh, uh, the TV. So with this camera, you can watch, if you're doing a head scan, you can watch directly into the patient's eyes and you can zoom in here, zoom out. So it's working very robust. And uh, we, we are happy with this to have an uh, extra surveillance of the patients. Next to that, we also have a solution for fMRI on this scanner. You can see they are also from the same Nordic Neural Lab, the solution for fMRI. Well, it comes to the end of the video. However, I just want to say one more thing. With the TV solution, it doesn't solve all the cases. It, it's very helpful, but we still need sedated patients because there are many cases where it's so complex, where non-sedated can be very difficult. However, but there are cases where they can be done as a NASA data with the TV solution. So uh, with that said, I just want to say thank you and make a right choice.